Okay, today I'm going to go over on how you can view another iPad screen uh, from an iPad. So there's going to be a couple caveats to this uh, before we get started. Uh, number one, both devices will need to be on at least iOS 10.3 or above. Both devices will need to have the Apple Classroom app installed, which looks like this app right here. So you can download that from the App Store. Just search Apple Classroom and download it. It is free to download. And the other caveat is if you are using a mobile device manager for your devices, you're going to have to make sure that you don't have an Apple Classroom profile assigned to the device that you want to look at its screen. So let's go ahead and begin. So from the device that you want to view all of the other devices from, go ahead and launch Classroom. Click Create a New Classroom, and you can give it a name. We'll just name it Test here. Okay, and then once you've got it created, go ahead and you can go into it. And we're going to click Add, and it's going to pop up with this screen with this code. So let's go ahead now and get on our other device. Okay, now I'm on the other device. What you'll do is you'll go into Settings, and over here you should see a classroom. So go ahead and click on that and hit Add test that's the test uh, classroom that we just set up and it will want us to enter some information and now we'll have to enter the code that was provided to us from the other iPad and we'll hit add okay Okay, that's all you need to do on that iPad, so we'll go back to the original iPad, and uh, now that we've added it, you can see the user right here uh, as test, and then we can go up to screens. Now once we do this, we're going to get a prompt on the other iPad, so let's go back to it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now that we've hit always allow on that iPad, now when we go into screens, we'll be able to see what that iPad is doing at any given time. So I can click on this and I can actually uh, view the screen in full screen. And you can see, I'm scrolling through on that device, I can see what they're doing there. And then this will also allow me to do several other things, such as I can open an application. So say I want them to open settings. You can see now on that device, it opened the settings. You can also send them to a web page. So if you want them to go to one of your bookmarks, you can do that. You can also lock their device, so if you don't want them doing anything on their device, you can lock it. Now when you do a lock on that, it's going to prompt uh, to allow, always allow, or deny. So if you're going to use this like with a student or somebody beforehand, uh, you may want to go ahead and hit always allow on that screen. You can mute the device. Uh, so you can turn their sound off, uh, you can make them use AirPlay, and you can just do a variety of things. So that is how you view another iPad screen from your iPad. Thanks for watching.